There has been a dramatic increase in the global average life expectancy over the past century, with many populations now living well into old age. Although this is a massive achievement, one side effect of this aging population is the growing incidence of dementias and Alzheimer's disease. At present, 35,000 people in Ireland suffer from dementia. Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia, with 44 million people currently suffering from this neurodegenerative condition worldwide. This number is set to triple by 2050. My name is Orla and my PhD project investigates the effects of cannabinoids in an in vitro model of Alzheimer's disease. My PhD project takes place in the Trinity College Institute of Neuroscience in the lab of Professor Veronica Campbell. I am also co-supervised by Dr. Andy Irving of UCD. One of the pathological hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease is the aggregation of protein plaques in the brain. The protein that makes up these plaques is called amyloid beta, and these plaques are thought to induce severe neurodegeneration and neuroinflammation. Cannabinoids have been found to have an immunosuppressive effect in models of inflammation and neurodegeneration. But what are cannabinoids exactly? Well, in the plant cannabis sativa, the main component is called THC which is associated with the psychoactive components of cannabis. There are structurally similar compounds made naturally within our body and comprise the endocannabinoid system. The two main endocannabinoids are anandamide and 2-arachidonylglycerol. Brain cells, or neurons, communicate with each other through neurotransmission. Endocannabinoids are a type of neurotransmitter but they signal differently to conventional neurotransmitters because they signal in a retrograde fashion. Endocannabinoids are synthesized on demand in the postsynaptic terminal and travel in a retrograde manner across the postsynaptic membrane, across the synaptic cleft, to activate presynaptic CB1 receptors, thus resulting in the depression of neurotransmitter release from the presynaptic terminal. One of the main pathological features of Alzheimer's disease includes the induction of an inflammatory response by microglia, the immune cell of the brain. Endocannabinoids bind to cannabinoid receptors on the cell membrane of microglia and induce an immunosuppressive response. I conduct my experiments by obtaining neurons from rat brains. I then grow these cells in a sterile container such as a petri dish. After leaving them to grow, I add aggregated amyloid beta and my cannabinoid compounds. Later I use a variety of experiments to test if the cannabinoid compounds have improved or worsened levels of neurodegeneration. Therapeutic intervention into Alzheimer's disease has largely focused on tackling late stage symptoms of the disease rather than early stage manifestations and causes. The reason that my project is so important is because the search is now on to find targets in the body that are suitable for early therapeutic intervention in Alzheimer's disease. The endocannabinoid system has the potential to be one of these targets.